Good morning, Bert. Good morning, Ernie. So, what's the scripture for today? Today's scripture is Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 8, also known as the new life in Christ. Okay, so what do the scriptures say about this new life in Christ? The scriptures start by saying, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Oh, what's with all the sacrifice stuff? Well, Ernie, Paul writes that as the Jewish people offered killed animals as sacrifices to God, we as Christians should instead offer ourselves, our bodies, to him as living sacrifices. In other words, the only rational response to God's mercy in giving us eternal life is to give him our lives as a sacrifice, to use for his purposes right now. So it's sort of a long-term loan? A what? A long-term loan. Give him ourselves today and get paid back afterwards with interest. Hey, I could be interested in that. <laughs> okay, I had not thought of it that way, but sure. I guess that's one way of looking at it. Well, anyways, the next verse says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. What does that mean, Bert? Well, Ernie, when one is conformed to this world, it means that there are a lot of things that have become acceptable in this world which are really not right. Being conformed tends to blind us from seeing that what is called right in this world is actually wrong. So, these things can be wrong, but we can't actually see it? Right, Ernie. When one is transformed by the renewing of their minds, God's word can go from our head to our heart, where it becomes part of our core convictions. And there, God's word can become living and powerful in its ability to radically transform our lives. Hmm. So, it is hard for us to see on our own what is right and what is wrong in the world without this transformation as opposed to a confirmation. Yes, Ernie, I believe you got it. So, we must transcend above formation instead of being conned by the formation. Right, Bert? What? <laughs>